Hi, this is Colleen Pearl, the Cool Crone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be the December 2021 Tarot Scope for the Sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, I've laid out your cards and I've chosen an oracle card for you. For December's reading, I'm starting the week one on actually Monday, November 29th. And then this is week two, week three, week four, week five, ending with the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. So the first card for the first week is the Magician, which tells me that you have many, many magical resources at your disposal. You are able to harness the powers of the universe, really, but these are elements that you're using. So this magician is using the athame, the chalice, the pentacle, and the wand in order to create his masterpiece. And you will use whatever resources you have at your disposal. It may be the same, they may be different. But December is starting out as a magical month for you, Cancer, and that's what's really important here. And I just have to say, there's a remarkable number of major arcana in this throw as well. So this, this month means that you have, and you get the chariot, which also echoes this message, that you have set things into motion, and this is what you wanted. This is what you designed for the month of December, or maybe just the way to wrap up your year. Um, so all the things that are coming to you now are things that you have asked for. The chariot shows um, that things are moving quickly. They're moving ahead per your design. So that's really exciting, Cancer. The next card up is the world. And this tells me that either something is coming to an end or something is beginning or both. So Cancer, since you designed this month, then you will know whether this is something coming to a close or something at the beginning. I would say based on the cards here that something has come to a close so that you can start something new because there's some amazing cards coming up in this spread for you. So in this first week, you're wrapping up things so that you can get on with your new whatever, your new projects. The second week begins with the page of wands. This is the town crier. This is the person who wants to bring in a lot of action, but also some news. And this is maybe an announcement about what you're actually going to be doing for the rest of the month. Then we have the star. This is also always, always a beneficial card. And this is saying that whatever you put your hand to, you will be known for success with that. So whatever you're trying to do in the month of December, you will succeed and you will be known for that success. Then we have the Nine of Cups. This is known as the Wish Card. So whatever it is that you set out to do, Cancer, you're probably going to achieve it. Choose your words and your thoughts carefully so that what you're achieving is something that you truly, truly want to achieve which it looks like it really is, because it looks like you're really managing this whole process. The next card that we have is actually the Two of Wands, also a person who is taking action, beginning, you know, getting ready to take action, making decisions about how to take action. But this card, the person is holding up a globe in their hand, and this globe uh, represents for the time of history in which he has appeared, the known continents of the world appearing on the globe. That uh, This is supposed to be from the Renaissance, and at that point in time, they were not quite aware of every continent on the globe. But what he's looking at is where he can expand his influence. So you may be looking to expand whatever business project you're into. Then we have the Sun. And the Sun card is saying, Again, good, good things are going to shine on you. You'll have success, you'll have victory. 
Whatever you're birthing now is going to be successful. So Cancer, are you trying to have a baby? Because this card would say you will be having a baby and it will be healthy and robust. If you're not having a baby, you're, you're creating or birthing something else that's very, very near and dear to your heart. This could be some kind of a project, a creative project, a new business, um, something that you're doing that's brand new. Maybe you're, you're getting married or starting a new family, um, but not getting pregnant quite yet. The first thing that comes to mind when I see the Sun card is that everything will be well, you will be victorious, and if you want to have a baby, you will. Then we have the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups usually has a secret that she's not dying to reveal, but that she's keeping close to her heart, and she's willing to reveal it at the right time. The Queen of Cups is an emotional woman. She's rather shrewd, she's strategic, she's, she's good at keeping secrets, actually. And she's the person who can really work behind the scenes and make things happen. So this is you, Cancer. This is you working behind the scenes, keeping your secrets and getting them ready to reveal at the appropriate time. And I'm just noticing here at how much the little figure here at the base of her throne I can't hold my card steady enough, but it really, really reminds me of the figure here in the Sun card. This is an older version. This looks more like a cherub baby, but very interesting. Okay, then we have the fourth week of December, and then we have the Five of Wands. So perhaps people are getting a little bit jealous of all your success. Perhaps they want to challenge you, take you down a peg, or perhaps you're just noticing that things are harder than you really thought they were going to be, and you have to work a little bit harder to get where you need to go. You have to remember any tarot deck with the Five of Wands, the people are not really hitting each other with the wands. It's a threat, it can be very social, it can also mean that this card can also mean that you're just stirring up action, you're just taking a lot of action, that there's a lot of people taking action, and maybe they need to be a little better organized or a little better controlled. But nonetheless, there's a lot of action taking place this fourth week, week of December for you, Cancer. The next card is the Knight of Pentacles. I almost said King. Um, this is the Knight that moves slowly or not at all. So this is a Knight who's contemplating his beautiful coin, and he's not ready to take huge steps. He's loyal, he's persistent, He's slow moving, but he's well prepared. And he's prepared to defend you, but in a very, you know, he's not, he's not brash. He's not like the Knight of Swords running in and cutting everybody down. He's reasoning things out. He's looking at his adversary, if there is an adversary, and he's sizing everything up. So he's getting himself mentally and physically prepared for what's to come. And if that means defending you, that's what he's gonna do. The slow and steady night. That's what I was trying to remember. Now at the end of the fourth week of December, that's going to be at the beginning of the last week of December. Um, we have a lot going on. It's the holidays and there's a lot happening. And if I can just move back to the first week. In the first week of December, we're going to have a new moon eclipse in Sagittarius. And at the end of the third week, in December, we're going to have a full moon in Gemini. Now, Gemini is going to fall in your 12th house, but the new moon is going to fall in your 6th house for work. So, is that right? Yes, 6th uh, house for work. So, this is a very appropriate card for you to be getting because right about the fourth week of December is when you're going to start seeing the profits of whatever this new plan is. And remember, you were wrapping up things here with the world and you were probably starting out new things with the sun and even with the star here. You were starting out something new. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is amazing. Ace of Pentacles is success and new money and new projects and new things and new, new, new. Growth, fertility, uh, richness, uh, prosperity. So a very good card for you to have right here at this position in the month. Beginning of the last week of December, we have the Six of Cups. 
and this is the card of generosity. So if you are needing any assistance, you'll get it. If you are in a position to give assistance, you'll give it. So it's also, you know, the theme of the season, generosity, giving to others, helping those less fortunate, let, you know, reaching your hand down to lift somebody up and reaching your hand up to be lifted up yourself. That's what the fifth dimension is all about. So this is a beautiful card to get in the last week of December, Cancer. And I know it's a sentiment that you share with others all the time. Then we have the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is, well, he was a man of action in his youth. Now he's more mature and he tends to ruling rather than taking action. However, he is a person of truth and words. And words are so important for you, Cancer. Words, you're going to see when we look at the Oracle card that words are going to be super important for you on your journey. And this man has the words and the ideas and the concepts and the ability to communicate. So a great communicator is the King of Swords. So this could be a person, probably an air sign, who's very supportive of you who loves what you're doing and wants the world to know about it. So he's going to communicate to the world about what it is that you're doing, therefore making you the star. And the final card up we have is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, he holds a goblet or a chalice or a cup that has no top on it, unlike the King Queen of Cups. So he is revealing his secrets. He is bringing his heart on his sleeve. He loves you. He wants to work for you, he wants to defend you, he wants to uh, do things for you, and he's there in your corner. So possibility of a love match this month, Cancer, um, strong possibility of a big, uh, big new project or even a baby coming into your life. So lots of amazing, beautiful things happening for you in the month of December. Now let's look at the Oracle card. And this is from the um, Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild. These cards are absolutely beautiful. The descriptions of them all come with a separate meditation. So if you're interested in um, hearing more about those meditations, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do some videos where we pick a card and do actually do the meditation together on, on, the, on video. But this card for Cancer is ancient power mysteries hear the rattle of isis plane and what this card speaks about is the fact that words and music are very very healing for you this card says that you are being initiated into the temple of isis and as such you will experience amazing things that will open you up to how a amazing music is when it comes to your own spiritual journey and healing journey. So what Isis wants you to do is listen to the rattle of her sistrum. That's her, um, that's her instrument that's there in the picture. This is the handle and then it's got this rounded piece here and then these things rattle back and forth and so it's a type of rattle not quite a tambourine sound it has a little bit different sound and in some systems they actually put kind of um, pieces of metal on here almost like a tambourine and when you shake it it sounds a little bit like a tambourine very very healing it's very primal so what um, Isis is telling you cancer is that you have been initiated you need to meditate on this image and you need to allow yourself to hear Isis music in your head and hear her words of power and know that you are divine and within you is all the power that you need in order to discover your own connection to the divine and to be able to perform your own healing. So it's a very powerful deck actually, but it's a very powerful card too that you've received. And I think that's very, very appropriate for um, the holiday season. Okay, Cancer. All right, so that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you. Please leave me some comments down below. And I will see you next time.